<laughs> oh yeah good morning everybody <laughs> some folks they worry about bears and snakes and this kind of stuff when you're hiking but that's not the real danger biggest danger in my opinion out here is the automobile <laughs> I think uh, this might be the the toughest crossing in the trail crossing highway 83 here in Delafield Whew. it's always exciting but I made it I'm out on the bike path continuing on my way the air today is heavy heavy with cloud and humidity and some diabolical storms ripping through yesterday oh my goodness today looks to be about uh, the same so i'm just gonna walk along and enjoy this sense of dryness that i have right now because <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's not going to last this day <laughs> Got some beautiful milkweed in here, all flowering. And, oh, wow, look at that guy. What a bug! <laughs> ah, hello, Mr. Bug. beauty there nice. <laughs> yeah, the trail gets a little weird in here walking through this uh, almost like a subdivision uh, giant homes all jambled on in next to each other <laughs> they're beautiful homes so, uh, I don't know Kind of an odd one. I could take the woods any day. <laughs> a young fawn and a mama. Every day. <laughs> Let's see what they do. Oh, go, little one. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. <laughs> I was actually starting to think I wouldn't see a deer today. It's like noon or something. It's kind of in the middle of the day and especially here, but how do you know? Good old Wisconsin. <laughs> Off of those roads, beautiful as they were, and into the woods and begins the Heartland segment, which also I think is a trail town as well. So, be kinda cool. And, uh, man, it is like so humid today. <laughs> and those clouds up there are just so thick. It's adding just an extra sense of excitement to this day. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's like 100 degrees or something too, it feels that way. But dew point's real high, so it's just ah, sticky. Oh. Yeah, so look, like every rock that's sticking out in here is just covered in moisture. That's how thick it is. <laughs> You know it's hot when the rocks are sweating. Nice. 
thousand miler. Oh man, can't stop for long. <laughs> Just a cloud of mosquitoes sort of follows me. And uh, every time I stop, just for a second, they all think like it's an invitation to come and land upon me. So kind of keep moving today. <laughs> sort of the race you can never win. Is, uh, you don't want to go too fast, tucker yourself out. You don't want to go too slow and get eaten alive. Well, you just kind of do your best to keep moving. It's pretty though, all those cattails. This big old oak tree here. Look at this guy. Look at that bark. Just knobby. Gosh, I love that. <laughs> Right, in the town of Heartland. And come into a big old park and a splash pad and stuff. Man, I wish I was a little kid. <laughs> it sure looks good today. I think there's a water fountain in here somewhere that I can get some water, so I'll be happy with that. Looks like bathrooms too. And I stopped in to this coffee shop here in Heartland. It's a Birch and Banyan. I got a cafe au lait and a sweet roll of some sort. It was so good. And it gets me out of the heat for a minute. And a quick little zap under my phone to get a little extra charge. That made me think of a tip I'd like to pass on. Take a look here. My tip is get yourself a six foot cord because those three foot ones that you usually get, you end up not being able to use your phone because it's stuck against the wall. You got a six foot, it can reach out to your table and you can use your phone and charge it and eat and everything else. So make the most of your time here. Well, one of the funniest blazers. Ah, to the bridge, I see. Quick little note for anybody through hiking. There's a bridge over the Bark River that's out here in Heartland. And they uh, they got a sign posted up. So I walked down to check it out. And yeah, it's, it's boarded up and concrete blocks and everything in front of it. So I just backtracked a little bit, went down the road a little farther across the river and then kind of cut around this baseball field. And uh, right over here is like where the bridge is. So it's pretty easy just to scoot around it. No sense being foolish and trying to cross the bridge because it's closed for a reason, I'm sure. Uh, just talking to some more people here and there's a lot of happy people here. It's a, it's a beautiful little town and at least where the trail goes, running all through the through the parks and along this little river here, the Bark River. So, I like it. Nicely done, Heartland. Nicely done. All right. So that's the bridge in question. And if you just scoot around down that Hartbrook Road back there a little bit, you can just sneak right around it. But they look pretty serious blocking it off, so. <laughs> And back on the trail. So this is uh, Centennial Park. And uh, Heartland segment, I think, ends here. I'm going to be uh, scooting down the road a little bit, heading up to Merton next. But I'm actually going to be meeting Sundance here in a little bit. I made a pretty good time, actually, even stopping for the coffee. Actually, that's probably why I made good time because, <laughs> man, that was a good, a good cafe ole. But I'm going to be meeting him here and uh, going to be getting some fresh shoes. So the ones I got now, oh, these Lone Peaks, I love them. But they're pretty worn down. The treads, it's, it's pretty smooth on the bottom and all the cushion and the padding. I'll show them. I'll compare them with the, with the fresh ones when I get them. So I think I'll be going back to his place tonight so I won't have to camp out in the storms. So it's like a double win-win. And uh, I'll be picking up a quick little road walk and then on to some more trail up into Merton and I'm gonna work my way from there. So I think, uh, I think that's about it for today. Maybe I'm gonna mosey down here and see what's around the corner. Otherwise, I'm gonna go post up here at the shelter over there. Put my feet up for a little bit, woo!
Got the old shoes. Smooth and worn off tread. And the new ones, look at that. Along with all the cushion on the inside, which is, uh, oh, you can tell just, you can just tell looking at it even. And there's some wear and tear on these, but the Lone Peaks, fantastic shoes. I do love these shoes. And, uh, boy, that's like 600, five or 600 miles, I think, on them. And, uh, it shows, but man. That's about all you can get for a good pair of shoes, I think, though. You can't expect for more than 500 miles out of them, from what I found. But this one here, these will see me to Sturgeon Bay. <laughs> these, I don't know. They're about done. 